Hello folks, Rob Dreemeyer here. Welcome to Broadway Barfly. If you're a theater fan who loves a great cocktail, click that subscribe button because Broadway Barfly is the channel for you. The Radio City Music Hall Rockettes were founded in 1925 in St. Louis, where they were originally known as the Missouri Rockets. They were modeled after a British dance troupe called the Tiller Girls, who caused quite the stir when they appeared in the 1922 edition of the Ziegfeld Follies. The Missouri Rockets grew in popularity as they toured the country, and they were eventually invited to appear at the opening night gala of Radio City Music Hall in New York City on December 27, 1932, where they were billed as the Roxyettes. The following year, 1933, Radio City mounted their first Christmas Spectacular, which was a lavish stage show that featured the Roxyettes. It was very successful, and they brought it back the next year in 1934, and they officially retitled the dance troupe the Radio City Music Hall Rockettes, and the Rockettes started their residency at Radio City that continues to this day, and a holiday tradition had begun. There's another holiday tradition that evolved on more or less the same timeline. In 1924, the year before the Rockettes were founded, Macy's held its first Thanksgiving Day Parade, which was an event designed to usher in the beginning of the holiday shopping season. That first parade featured Macy's employees dressed in colorful costumes, bands and floats, live animals that were borrowed from the Central Park Zoo, and of course, Santa Claus. And once Santa Claus arrived at the store, he was ushered to the balcony where he was enthroned and crowned King of the Kitties. <laughs> the parade didn't receive all that much attention in the press that year, but it did attract a crowd of 250,000 people. So with such a successful beginning, another holiday tradition had begun. In 1932, the same year that Radio City opened their doors, the parade was broadcast on local radio. In 1946, it was first televised, and as the popularity of the parade grew on television, they started adding live performances by stars. Milton Berle, Jackie Gleason, and Jimmy Durante were just some of the stars who appeared in the parade in those early years of television. As the popularity of the parade grew in tandem with the popularity of the Christmas Spectacular, it was only a matter of time before their paths crossed. And in 1957, the Radio City Music Hall Rockettes made their first appearance in the parade. And of course, they were a big success and they've appeared in the parade ever since. Almost 20 years later, Broadway was finally represented in the parade. And in 1975, the musical Shenandoah was the first Broadway show to make an appearance in the parade. Four years later, in 1979, Sandy Duncan appeared with the Broadway revival cast of Peter Pan, and Broadway performances have been a mainstay and a highlight of the parade ever since. So on this week where we celebrate Thanksgiving and we usher in the holiday season, I have a very special cocktail for you because <laughs> you may need it. We're going to be making a Thanksgiving cobbler. Cobblers are very old cocktails. They date back to probably the 1830s or so. The first published cobbler recipe was in the 1862 Bartender's Guide written by Jerry Thomas. The recipe in that book was specifically a sherry cobbler. They're thought to be called cobblers because they are served over cobbles of ice. And putting ice in cocktails was a fairly new thing at that time because that was about the era where people started harvesting ice for commercial sale. Cobbler cocktails are important in the history of cocktails because they introduce things that are still used to this day. They're thought to be the first shaken cocktail, and they're the namesake for the cobbler style cocktail shaker, which is the type of shaker that has the strainer built right into the lid and the little cap that sits on top. They're also thought to be the first cocktail served with a straw, and that's because of the ice. Not everybody enjoyed the sensation of ice rubbing against their lip when they drank from the glass because it was a fairly new sensation to them. And so they started to be served with straws. If you ordered a cobbler in the early 1800s, there's a good chance that that would actually be a real piece of straw because paper straws as we know them today were not patented until 1888. <laughs> Who knew? Cobblers are made by muddling together fruit and sweeteners and then combining that with spirits and or wine. So there are all sorts of varieties of cobblers. For our Thanksgiving cobbler, we're using cranberries, simple syrup, 
cognac and champagne. I found this recipe on the internet a while back and it's featured on all sorts of food and beverage blogs, but I was uncertain where it actually originated. But there is another YouTube channel called How to Drink that did a video making this cocktail, so at least they made it popular and I'm glad that they did because it's a really good drink. So we start by adding a dozen cranberries or so to our tin. And to that, we're going to add about a half an ounce of the simple syrup. And then we muddle this together and you want to give it a really good press and make sure that you burst open all of those cranberries. And then to that, we're going to add an ounce and a half of the cognac. And you'll notice this cognac I'm using is a little lighter in color than other cognacs. And I was turned on to it by a salesperson at one of the stores I go to, and it has a much sweeter, fruitier taste to it than you would expect for a cognac. And I think it mixes a really nice cocktail, especially with these tart cranberries. And then we pour this into our shaker of ice and we give it a really good shake. We then strain this, or rather double strain it, into our cocktail glass of ice because we don't want any of those skins or pulp of the cranberries floating around. Then finally, we top that off with our champagne and we'll garnish it with a sprig of rosemary and a couple of cranberries. I wish you all a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Cheers. If you enjoyed the video, why not give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends? Feel free to leave your comments and click that subscribe button because there's a lot more Broadway Barfly to come.